Welcome back. Today we're going to do some other time value of money problems. I'm going to show you some new techniques and some um, new kinds of problems. And we have a couple of problems here. Let's work this first one first. It says calculate the future value of $4,500 invested for six and a quarter years at seven and a half percent compounded quarterly. Okay, so this is something new, compounded quarterly. And we have to figure out how to do that. Well, this formula is the formula when you have um, more than one compounding period in a year, where the M is the number of compounding periods and the N is the number of years. So let's work this out first using um, just simple formula. So when we use a simple formula, as you recall, we put in an equal sign to start and then we're going to put in our amount which is forty five hundred dollars and that's the uh, the present value of what we're investing so that would be the PV over here in this formula and now we've got to multiply that times one plus now we've got to put in our interest rate, which in this case is going to be 0 0.075. And we're compounding it quarterly. So if we compound it quarterly, we have to divide it by 4 because we're going to compound 4 times within the year. So we'll close our parentheses, both parentheses, and then we're going to raise that whole thing to a power and we're going to take our compounding periods which is 4 times our number of years which is 6.25 okay now if we hit enter that gives you the answer okay so it's seven thousand one hundred and fifty nine dollars and eighty four cents now let's do it with the Excel financial functions and again we've got to select the right function and the one we want is future value we're just going to open it right up so the first thing we have to do is put in our rate which we said here was seven and a half percent seven point five percent and we compounded that quarterly so we have to divide that by four so in other words, that's 1.875% per quarter. And then we put in our periods, which again, we said that is our um, number of compounding periods, which is four. And we take that times the number of years, which is six and a quarter years. So we have 25 compounding periods, or six times 24 plus one, um, is 25 compounding periods and we take that times our present value which if if we invest forty five hundred dollars it's a negative so it's out of our pocket we put that in here and here you see we come up with the same thing we can close out by clicking OK and there's our answer so we did it two different ways and it worked out exactly the same Okay, so let's go ahead and work the second problem, which says calculate the annual end-of-year payment needed to amortize a loan of $12,000 in five years if the appropriate interest rate is 6% compounded annually. So again, we're back to what we're used to, compound annually, compounding annually. And this gives us a formula um, in order to figure out the present value of an annuity and if we turn that formula around we can calculate the payment which is what this question is asking us calculate the end the annual end of the year payment so let's do that but the first thing we need to know in this formula is what is a present value interest factor of an annuity at a percentage for a period of time and there's three ways you can do that and the first way i'll just tell you about you can go to a uh, table for present value 
interest factor of an annuity and it'll have rows and columns by interest rates and number of periods and you can look find the, the right uh, number of periods and the right interest rate and that'll tell you uh, you know what the factor is so that's one way you can do it the other way to do it is to um, calculate the factor so let's go ahead and do that here and so let's put that in right about here present value interest factor of an annuity that's what we're going to calculate and we've got to put in our years here and let's see what we have we have um, one two three four five years and these are going to be again at the end of the year so we'll put an EOY and um, let's start out by calculating this using the factor so what we're going to do is calculate a present value factor for each of the five years so if we go open our uh, well we're not going to do the functions we're going to do this by using the um, the formulas first so we start that by putting in an equal sign and then if we put in one divided by and then we have to put in the um, one plus the interest rate which is 1.06 because our payment our interest rate is six percent and if we raise that to a power we're going to raise that to the power because we're at the end of the first year so we've got to use that so I'm going to put in the cell address and that should give us our our factor okay so let's do that a little different way for the second year so we're going to put in our equal sign and then we're going to put in um, instead of dividing it by one we're just going to put in one plus our interest rate is 06 and then we're going to take that and this time we're going to take it to the minus um, power at the end of the second year or minus two that would equate to and here we don't even need we don't even need our um, parentheses so let's go ahead and take that out so if we, if we do this it gives us our present value interest factor of an annuity and it, it will give you the same thing up here if you did it if you did it this way what what a minus means when you raise something to a power is it automatically divides one by whatever that factor is so in this case we had 1.06 to the second power and it divides it into one and just to show you if we did it the other way it would work out the same way if we took one divided by one point oh six and we raise that oh I just love when I make those little mistakes and I guess those noises wake you up so that's good okay so we're gonna raise that to the second power I'm grabbing the cell over here and um, there it is the reason why it's not exact is because of rounding so if, if I formatted my cell over here and I used four four place decimal places like I did over here it will come out exactly the same so that's just another way of doing it and this way is actually a lot easier because you don't have to get confused with the parentheses and there's less to type so if you just copy this from this cell into the next three for the next three years that'll give you all the present value interest factors for five years and all you need to do then is add that up so you know how to do that take a sum and you get 4.2124 that's your present value interest factor of an annuity and we can just grab it from here and label it here 
And so that's your factor for all five years. These here are just present value interest factors, not for an annuity, but for each year. So that's the difference. We could also do the same thing using the functions like we did before. So if, if we do say the function at the end of the first year, we have a rate of 6%. And at the end of the first year, we have one period. Or we could just come over here and, and grab one. And then we put the cell in. And our future value, because we're at the end of the second year, is 1. We'll put that in as a minus, and that will give us our present value interest factor, which you can see comes right out over here. So here you have it. It's the same thing. If we copy this for the other four years, it'll calculate the same numbers. And if we total it up like we did before, we've done it two different ways. Okay, there's a third way, and let's just do that one down here. Let's say we take our present value function and we put in our rate. And this time, instead of just putting in you know, a period at a time, we're going to put in all five periods because we have an annuity. And our payments are going to be 1. So let's put that in as a negative because that's what we're investing. And that gives us our factor, 0.4.212 just like we have up here. So we've done it actually three different ways now. So you should have no problem checking yourself out. And here I go, I'm having a hard time typing again. I think I just have a hard time typing when I'm trying to record these. Okay, so there it is. Done it three different ways. Now we can solve this formula down here. So if, if we change the formula around, what we want to get is the payment. And we know um, what our present value is right now. So if we put that in, let's do that here. We have our present value of an annuity, which is, which is going to be um, $12,000. And divide it by our present value interest factor of an annuity. That should give us our answer. And there it is. So our payment, our five, we're going to have five annual equal payments of 2848.75. And let me just make that two decimal places here and we're all set. There you go. We're done. We solved the problem. So that's it in this session. We'll see you in the next session.